Yo Gamer, Nemi here and welcome to another Tekken 7 VD and today my boys we're going to be taking a look at one of the other most slept learning technique that has that Tekken has in the game. A lot of people don't seem to use this as much as they should and this applies to like beginners and intermediate players. Now this technique is simply my replays and tips my replays and tips this is actually very very underrated now this is as good as saving your videos right on ps4 i'm on ps4 so you can save your videos in the gallery and actually just you know watch them back or upload if you want to like i do but the difference is with re my replay and tips it actually gives you some tips on what to do whilst you're watching the video it can show you some punishment options, some combo options, and stuff like that. And this mod is actually really, really great for beginner players. Beginner to intermediate level, guys, you have to do this. You really, really should. Do not sleep on this mechanic. Like, practice mode is good, but sometimes just take some time and watch your videos back. A lot of people don't like watching their replays, especially if they lose. And I'm guilty for doing this as well. I'm like, ah, shit, I just lost. You know, must have been a bad day. You know, I'll get you the next time. No, you have to watch your replays, watch back your losses, and see what you could have done better and what you could do better going forward. So for me, I have a few replays here, uh, but unfortunately, there is no replay that I actually lost. Most of them are like outdated now. You know, sadly. So I can't really show you guys any replay that I lost, but I'm going to show you this one specific replay um where i was really really bad in this game so this is what i just picked up Leroy, and i was trying to learn the character there's a lot of things i missed that the game actually pointed out for me and i'm going to show you guys this now the game won't always point out what you did wrong sometimes it's up to you to just realize that you know i should have done better in this particular situation so we're gonna watch this together and I'm going to point out some points that I think I could have done better, or that I should be doing better. On well, things I miss, such as punishes, dropped combos, just bad decision making, and all that jazz. So let's look at this video. So, like I said, guys, even in the gallery, you can just record your video on Xbox or you know PC or PS4. Uh, then just watch it back later. And try to see what you could have done better. That's the process of actually learning. People don't seem to understand this. All right, so as you can see here, I'll rewind. I can't rewind at the beginning. I sidestepped when starting the game. Then I got a launch on this Korang player, uh, Lily. You guys have seen me play him multiple times. So the game actually shows me a BNB combo. Like this is a sample combo that you can find in practice mode. So it shows me this. Now, I actually dropped this combo, as you can see here. So remember, I just picked up Leroy. So I tried to learn the character, and I dropped this. So now you can see that the game actually points out what I could have done. And this is what makes this mod really, really good, especially for beginner players. So I drop my combo here. I get hit with the Peacekeeper, right? But one, I get a sidestep again. Now this time, the game does not show me what to do. Why? Why? Because I actually do a combo here. Right? I do a full combo. I dropped the ender at the wall, but I did the combo. So the game does not show me the what to do because I managed to do a combo. So that helps out a lot to be like, oh, okay. So this is what I have to do. Okay. So another mistake I'm making here is... Against Horan, you don't want to have your back against the wall. So I could have started sidestepping instead of just holding back here and waiting for him to come to me. I could have started moving myself outside of the wall. That should always be your priority, especially when you have your back against the wall. So I could have done that better. Instead, I stayed with my back against the wall. This Horan player walked in on me, down 3-4 into Hell Sweep, lost half of my health. Now I'm holding plus at the wall. So Horang here does a backlash, and the backlash is a high move. And the game points that out for me. It says, this move can be punished after evading it with a crouch. So crouches, uh, when you crouch, highs go over crouches. So if you crouch, a high will go over you. 
and this is what I could have done, but like this is reactionary. I did know he was actually going to do a backlash, so it's difficult to actually duck that without knowing it's coming. So here I used a power crush to get out of the wall. Like Leroy's power crush is kind of busted, right? Has quick startup in the wall bounce. So I used this to get out of the wall. Good decision for me. Horak is in rage. Here I have to be very, very careful, right? I have to wait for him to come to me. So here I wait, I wait, I wait. And he does come to me. He goes down 3 4. I go a defensive orbital. That was well played for me. You don't really want to be aggressive in rage. Because you can get your ass blown up. So here, I did know he was going to do a backlash because he did it in the first round. But I tried to punish way, way quicker than I should have. Should have. So I ended up getting hit. I did what I to. Immediately I ducked. Which is a very, very bad thing to do against a backlash. It has like quick, quick recovery. So I had the right idea. But I didn't execute that properly. So Harang, Walkery of course. Insane Walkery. So Horang does back three here. Back three is launch punishable. The game also recommends me to do this because I did a wrong punish. Quite right, I did do a punish, right? Because guys, any punish in, is better than no punish at all. Any punish is better than no punish at all. So this is really such that huge of a deal, but at high level, you can't be making mistakes like this. If a move is launch punishable, you have to be launching it. And Horang's back three is no exception. Despite its quick recovery, you really, really have to launch that. So the game points that out for me. Like I told you guys earlier, like this is what makes this game mode really, really good. It does give you some pointers on what you missed and what you could have done better. So I pressure him with plus frames here. You get a combo. Go for Oki. Go for the stomp again. Leroy pressure, of course, insane. Grab him at the wall. Boom. Hot for one plus two. Here I know he has to like go low and he has rage so he's most likely going to go low so I back off a bit. Now this tip is just on the jab. He does a high jab, right? Uh, 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 which I could have ducked. So the game points that out for me. And here I panicked and did a parry, right? I thought he would keep on the pressure but he backs off. Boom, gets a whiff punish on me. I eat the rage art and that's GG or he drops it. Anyway, I lost that game anyway so... I panicked there, I could have been more patient, of course, he had rage, I had a life lead, so, you know, I panicked and lost the game. Okay, down back four into four, four, one plus two. Nice spacing, nice two. Four, four, three, so, here yeah, I could have we've punished, right? Right? I could have gotten four, four, two, two. This is another mistake from my part. This is free damage. I can't be making mistakes like this. You can't be making mistakes like this. Damage is very, very important in this game. So I missed the opportunity to get a whiff punish on Horang here. So I know that, you know, I learned from that. I don't have to make such mistakes like that again. Now dash up low. I got mixed here. Of course, Horang mix ups. Mm, I go to the wall. Of course, I eat the damage. Horang and saying damage. Mix ups. I go for a power crush again to get out of the wall. Very, very good against Horang as well. Just rewind that. Mm. He does a power crush here, and I missed this punish. The game recommends me what I should have done. Horang's down forward 3 4 is minus 14, and Nero is 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, 1 is 14 frames. I could have done that punish, but I missed it. I panicked, ended up doing some weird grab, you know, wasted damage. I lost a round because of that. So like I said guys, it's very important to make to watch your videos back. Trust me, you want to watch especially the videos that you lost. You got you got blown up 7-0, you know, 10 0 in the first to 10. Watch that shit back. It's the only way to get better and improve from there. Don't get salty and delete the video. Just watch it and see what you can do better. It helps. It really really does. Okay, spacing with punish. So this was me learning for the previous match when I missed the punish on 443, right? I could have gotten the 442, 4422 4, with punish. So I learned from that and actually remembered, oh shit, Leo Leroy is up forward 3 plus 4, 1 plus 2. It's 14 frames and it's very, very fast as well. So you know 14 frames, it's a very, very good long range punisher. So I did that here. Boom, amazing with punishment here. Uh, jab is really good against Horang as well. 
one jab, the upward one one, of course into shotgun, easy frame trap at the wall. I could have done a better combo here. I could have done back four, right, into a better combo. So wall carry adjustments, again, guys, is another thing you need to, really need to practice, right? You need to know how to adjust your combos when there is a wall in front of you. You need to get those clean wall splats and maximize the damage. Like I said before, losing damage in Tekken is not really, really a great thing. So practice uh, wall adjustments, combo wall adjustments. I missed my wall splat here. Leroy pressure, of course, went for a grab, jab pressure, into dick jab, jab pressure. He panicked and I got the dab, got the round here. Okay, we're going to the final round now. Okay, do Leroy, Sh Leroy shenanigans. Nice, don't fall on one. Fought for three. I went for a parry there, which is not really, really a bad option, but he went low, so I guessed wrong, obviously. Fought for one plus two, amazing meet, amazing check. I missed the whiff punish again here, right? Down for a two. I could have punished it with like jabs. Okay, and then the backlash of course, duckable. Here he goes for hell sweep. So he goes for the low into mid. So I go for a defensive orbital and you know get the combo. So before this game ends, the game also has different options that you can turn on, right? You can turn off the health gauge, turn off the health gauge. You can put command history, right, to see the mistakes you are making and you know, like inputs and stuff, right? Uh, player attack information, the damage of combos, you can see that from here. Uh, just to show you guys. So, this is going to take some time going back. But let me just rewind. Right? So now I have damage information on here. Right? You can see the damage numbers here. Obito. Uh -uh. You see the damage there. So, that's what that option is for. Uh, CPU attack, this is for a little bit advanced, but basically just know, uh, sorry, the CPU attack information, sorry, I'm talking about the hit property. The hit property is basically just frame data, just seeing, sorry, the hit properties is when you want to know whether a move is high, low, or mid, so let me rewind that. So as you can see now, it shows which moves are high, right? So high, mid, backlash is a high, it shows there, high, low, high, so that those are hit Properties you can check that to that on if you want uh, Recovery animation is what I was trying to say before it basically shows you how punishable a move is as you can see here It's a bit advanced and basically you can tell if something is launch punishable or not But this doesn't really matter that much especially if you have frame data if you bought season 3 with the frame data I don't have you know season 3 so I don't have the frame data. So this is really really good option for me Take this off And these are the tips that show you the recommended punish that you could have done you can turn that off if you want sample combos you can turn that off you can pause you know pause and pause if you want so these are like the basic options you have for the replay tips uh so not really that deep but like for beginners and intermediate players it's an amazing feature really really good and slept on feature yeah like you really just have to do it guys please 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 guys i cannot stress enough Practice, take your time, practice defense, see what you've done wrong, you need to research on what you're doing. Don't just think of offense, don't just go into taking boot up, taking and mash. That's not how it works. You have to do the research. So I close out the round there with a the classic Leroy parry. So like you you guys have seen, like the mistakes I've made in this game, what I could have done better in it's all thanks to this replay tips and tricks battle mode. Like you just have to. Now it applies again to like the gallery. You just watch back what you're doing wrong and learn from that. But the replay and tips is really really good because it gives you tips. It tells you what to do in case you missed it. You know, it's a really good mod, right? Punishment training, my replays and tips, really really good modes. Now this is for beginners and intermediate levels. Starting from now, I'm going to try to start doing things from the beginning. Uh, like I said before, my previous uh, post. I didn't know we had so many new players and intermediate players on my channel. So I'm going to try, try to start doing tutorials to get you guys ready for Tekken 8. So just look forward to that. So again, closing statement guys, take some time to watch replays. Take some time to watch the matches that you lost. It will only help you get better as a player. 
trust me it's salty you can be salty you feel bad discouraged but that's just how it is there's winning and there's losing you can't win them all you just can't it's not possible so just please hold your salt and watch those goddamn replays and from then you're going nowhere but up you just get better from there so if you enjoyed my video my boys please do consider liking and subscribing it helps me up with the youtube algorithm i thank you for your support as usual guys don't forget to hit them labs thank you guys and gg